Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Good afternoon and welcome to this video about Solana. Um, we'll talk about more specifically the Sol token, what's going on right now. We just had a bearish breakout and we're looking pretty bearish. Uh, are we actually going to crash or can we actually hold our support levels and can we expect some more bullish momentum soon? Uh, that's in general what we'll talk about. So let's get right into it. Uh, obviously, hope you're all doing great this um, Thursday it is. Um, I covered Solana, like the last time I covered it was um, was right here when we uh, were just above these levels here at $14. And I got kind of caught up with the whole bullish bias, uh, like the, the, the green glasses. I saw everything very in, in, in a positive way. Uh, this was when uh, Bitcoin also was very bullish when Bitcoin was testing its uh, 17,400 resistance level. And what I said is that, all right, I think we're going to break above 14.15. Uh, and with that, I think we're moving up to 14.5, 14.6, 14.7. I was wrong about that. In the end, uh, we re like we re rejected and we um, retraced with the entire market. You can also see that uh, specifically for, for, for Bitcoin, for example. I mean, um, these were the days that we were still relatively bullish. Uh, we got some big bearish fundamental moves. Uh, and, and that also happened for Solana, as you can see. Main reason for that we, we can discuss, uh, there could be multiple reasons for it, but this was definitely a fundamental move. So it was kind of uh, shared throughout the market, probably due to some uh, institutional move, something like that. But it, it probably has to do with, with next week. Next week, we have a very important uh, fundamental week. We have the interest rate and the inflation rate for the US coming out. Uh, so that probably has to do with it. But, but what that caused for Solana, is that we uh, found support here at 13.5, still in this kind of bearish, uh, bullish market structure, you could argue. Uh, but then what we did earlier today, I think, is, is or yesterday already, is we uh, broke through that, had a bearish breakout, found support at around 13.3, um, which really is our, our last support. Between 13.15 between 13 and 13.3, that really is our last kind of support. I said resistance, I meant support. Uh, if that breaks, we are going to crash, all right? So the big question is, is, is that going to break or not? In my opinion, I don't think it's going to break. I mean, just in general, you can definitely see that, uh, that, that like the, the bullish market structure and the bullish momentum is at least temporarily gone. Um, but I still believe that 13.15 and 13.3 is strong enough of a resistance or strong enough as a, of, a, of a support, excuse me, uh, to hold us up. And I also think the fundamentals are bullish enough also for Solana, which arguably has very bearish fundamentals right now, it's, it's strong enough to hold us. So what I expect um, is that right now we're at a quite strong resistance level at 13.5. So we could definitely drop back down. I think that's uh, quite likely. And then from there, what I expect that after some consolidation down here between ultimately, yeah, let's say 13.5 and 13.15, I think we'll be able to get a bullish breakout above 13.5, 13.6 and start moving up towards $14 again, kind of uh, leading leading us into next week. Um, and uh, and perhaps even at the end of this weekend, because as I said, next week is going to be fundamentally a very big week. Also for Solana, 100%. And I think that week is going to be bullish. Um, and with that, I also expect some more bullish momentum leading up and, and kind of uh, yeah, heading into those events. Um, so based on that, that's my analysis. Also, this is also supported by the technicals, I think. But um, yeah, that's the main reason. So that's my take on Solana this afternoon. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.